so as you know, as I'm thinking about Valentine's Day coming up, I, I hear people talk about, you know, I, where are we going to go for dinner? And it's COVID and we're not gonna be able to go out and have the, the lovely, you know, prefix dinner that we usually have. And maybe I can find a nice piece of jewelry. And, and the thing that came to my mind as I was thinking about that is, you know, that's lovely. I, I hope somebody gets some roses and somebody gets some jewelry. But the number one thing that people want is to be understood. We want to be understood. We want to be accepted for who we are. And oftentimes where things go wrong in relationships, whether it's a romantic relationship, a parent-child, siblings, is that we want people to be who we want them to be. I want you to respond and talk to me the way I want you to talk to me. I want you to give me what I want you to give me. I want you to be able to read my mind and know what's important to me. Or, and so we forget to let people be themselves. And that's where things can really change is if we can sit back and we can say, okay, who are you? What are you telling me about who you are? And how can I listen to that and show up for that? What's the best way that you can show that you love someone? You can let them be them. We can listen to the people that we love Listen to what they're telling us about who they are, not what I'm expecting from them. And let that be how we respond to them. The best gift that we can give on Valentine's Day is the gift of giving people the ability to be themselves. 